Uh, when I was watching that, and it was the summer, it was the late summer, and that's when things like that used to happen back in the 60s. And I thought, God, this is so similar. It is so similar. And here I am, an official senior citizen. And, you know, my people are still out in the streets, and my people are still being slaughtered, shot down like dots. Uh, the Tamir Rice uh, situation because there are countless ones, many of which we don't even know about, but the Samir Rice one particularly, particularly gets to me because I'm from Cleveland. I was born in Cleveland and it's just so unspeakable and they can't find fault. <laughs> they can't find anything about shooting a 12 year old two seconds before the car even started, the police car hadn't even stopped rolling and they're slaughtering him. Be that as it may, um, I take a huge amount of uh, just inspiration and hope from Black Lives Matter because it's incisive and it's brilliant and it is inclusive and it, it uh, encompasses so many of the things that we wish to see in the best organizing. Uh, the fact that we're having this conversation here Creating change. How many creative changes have I gone to? I haven't come in a long time, but I was there at the, at the creation of creating change, pretty near. And the fact that we can have this conversation in a LGBTQ context, that's huge. That's really huge. And that's why you got me out of Albany. Because, I mean, I don't leave. This is, that's why you got me out of Albany. This is the farthest I've been from Albany in a number of years. Because I will go somewhere in the Northeast, but I will not. Yeah, so here I am. Because I want to meet these sisters. As always, for, as always, for people involved in struggle, we are always uh, on an edge where it can go one way or another. And that means that those of us who are alert to struggle, and to justice, we have to always be examining and figuring out, okay, what do we have to do next and which way do we go? Um, it's, as, as one of my dear sisters in Kamba, he said, Demeter Frazier said, this didn't get into the statement, but it's one of my favorite quotes. This is not a mix, maybe it did. This is not a mixed cake. We have got to make this up from scratch. Yes. That's what she said. So that's a kind of attitude in the spirit with which I think we uh, need to go forward about this entire line of conversation. It's not possible to have uh, post-revolutionary solutions in a pre-revolutionary society. So the thing is, we live in a pre-revolutionary society, and we might say that we live far, 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 far back. <laughs> yeah, we're not even close. But be that as it may, like having the long view, the way you get to that post-revolutionary society is that you have vision. So that post-revolutionary society is that you have vision. The way you get to that post-revolutionary society is that you have vision. The way you get to that post-revolutionary be that as it may, like having the long view, the way you get to that post-revolutionary society, not even close, but be that as it may, like having the long view, the way you get to that might say that we live far, 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 far back. <laughs> yeah, we're not even close. But be that as it may, like having the long view, the way you get to that post-revolutionary society is that you have vision.